Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher, and today I'm going to be talking about rendering, exporting, or saving your videos in DaVinci Resolve 15. I got a lot of questions on a previous video I did where I was talking about saving the project files, and people thought that that meant uh, exporting the video, uh, stuff like that. If you're trying to do that, uh, just to let you know, that's actually in uh, what's called the media management and this is where you can transcode an entire project, things like that. So if you want to do that type of thing, that's in here. But today we're going to be talking about, let's say you've done your edit. It's real basic. You've done your edit and you're ready to export. Where do you do? What do you do? Because DaVinci Resolve is a little different from Premiere Pro where it's just like file, export, boom, boom, boom. It's not like that. It's a little bit different. So what we're going to do is once you have your edit ready to go, you're going to go here to this little tab down here, which is your delivery tab. And people might be like, whoa, what's going on here? Um, all this is doing, and we can turn this clips off if we want, get out of the way. This is just showing the timeline that we're rendering, the preview of what we're rendering. These are all the settings. And then this is where, this is the render queue. So basically over here on the left-hand side, we have a couple different, uh, presets. Now I typically warn you probably not to use these just because they're going to do a lot of things to your video that maybe you don't want. Um, I'm not saying that they're not fine. Obviously, you can just click these little drop down arrows. If you want to do like 1080p YouTube, Vimeo, ProRes Master, whatever. Um, again, personally, I'm a fan of doing these things myself just because I like to know exactly what's going on. Now, first thing you're going to see up here is your file name and your locations. You can go in. We're just going to call this one. Real, real crazy. We're going we're gonna to save right in the desktop. You could browse and put it wherever you want, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to leave it right in the desktop. One thing that's really cool is you can actually do single clips or individual clips. So you could render out every individual clip. That's generally if you're doing like color workflow, things like that. So for now, single clip, it's ready to go to YouTube or whatever. Make sure your export video is clicked. And this is where we select the type of video. Personally, I recommend either selecting QuickTime or MP4. Those are the best if it comes to like YouTube or just really most renders are gonna be QuickTime or uh, MP4. Obviously, you could do like an AVI or DCP if you're doing different uh, types of formats. So like in QuickTime, you can, of course, do like DNX HD, ProRes, H.264, H.265, tons of different stuff. Um, and then, of course, you can choose your flavor. So like, let's say we were going to do, whoops, H.264, that's that. And then let's say we're going to do H.26, where is it, 5. Boom, you could do 8-bit, 10-bit. So pretty much just know that you want to do your format. Then your codec from there, we'll just do H.264. And then uh, next is going to be your resolution. So this is where you pick whatever your resolution is. Let's say it's 4K, your frame rate. Uh, quality, typically it's better off to leave this at automatic. If you have to restrict it to a certain megabytes, just remember that kilobytes is 1,000. So in this, uh, if I were to do this, it's 10 megabytes per second. Uh, and pretty much leave all of these the same. Um, there are certain things you could do if you wanted to you know, burn in the uh, optimized media and, and a bunch of different stuff like that. Um, we're not going to do any of these because for the most part, you don't need to touch these rare, rare, rare occasions. Do it to, I actually use those audio? We're going to click export audio. I like to typically leave this at what it is. Usually it's this AAC. Um, same thing. Leave all of these pretty much as they are They're You know, they usually know what it wants to do. And then file is just where you're naming it. If you have a file suffix, uh, you know, different file folder, stuff like that. Me personally, again, I don't really touch that. I'm pretty much just touching this first one. But anyway, once you get all of these correct and where you want to do, you're going to click add to render queue. What that just did was that added, boom, that render over here. Now, the cool thing is you could go in, change all of these. So you could do like MP4, H.265, 8-bit, you know, whatever. Boom. Now you've just added both of those tasks over here. And then if you click on the top one, uh, I like to just shift click both. So that way, you know, all are selected. You can boom, go through it. And the cool thing is it actually tells you how long it took you to do it. So like I actually did use the YouTube preset to test it out earlier and it'll tell you exactly how long it took. And if it was completed, if it was paused, it will tell you. Yeah. So that's pretty simple. All you have to do then is select the ones you want to do. So like these cases, I'm just going to select these two and then boom, click start render. I'm not going to do that because it'll destroy my computer. And then it's going to just play through this timeline and render the video. And then boom, your file is there and ready to go. So again, um, this is, you know, it's pretty basic tutorial, but of course, if you're someone new to DaVinci Resolve and you don't know how to do this, 
It's very, very simple. Do not be scared by everything you see here. And of course, if for some reason you wanted to change what was going on down here and you only want to render a certain portion, you can of course use the key uh, strokes I and O in and out, and then it'll just render that in and out range. Or you could obviously do the entire timeline. Um, again, all very simple. It's just the the in, you know the interface is a little weird, so it's a little hard to get used to. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you need want any more tutorials, uh, request or you know request them down below, and I'll be sure to uh, get on those and see what we can do. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.